In those wards is going to be taken down here by Venus. Has a bit of control as a great is finally going to land. Barrier immediately thrown out there by Mystic, who's trying to get the damage back. Explosive charge, not going to be quite enough as Zero Venus with the, the Storm does come in. Venus turning up the teleports there as well as the Blade Call is in. Mystic still alive for the moment. It's a really good tornado to come out from Zero, but it's not enough. And First Blood goes over to Noel. Hal and Gale comes in from Zero just to get that disengage happening and either Storm is going to keep Mystic healthy. Condi needs to be careful actually. Hero's entrance comes in as Venus kicks back Condi and my god. That Q went a long way, Nolan. and he's going to make himself 2 and 0. He's going to have a pretty rough time with him. May just try and trade from the bush if he walks predictably, which is not, but there he is. Oh, this face check is not what you want, and she just ends the life of Noel. The Ignite's enough to do it, and that's the double buffs transitioned again. You would say Condi's at risk. Yeah, and Shea as well giving a lot of respect here to Young Generation as Shea finds Noel once again. Does need to be careful, but the root comes in. Hero's entrance is there, and Nocti gonna colossally smash him out of the fight. 957 makes his way through, but this is dangerous as Featherstorm comes in from Mystic. He's trying to get the work done. They're looking for Noel if they can get him, but in. they still haven't been able to pick one. 957 finally able to lock down a kill, and he's so tanky. Nocti dies as well as Mystic grabs that kill, and they just did not have the damage. And after they pick off Shie. And the Ardent Sensor was already done. That's probably why he didn't take a lot of damage there, Rusty. That's a teleport actually behind them. He may take damage now. That's a real deep one. It's not Noel. This Nocti's going to turn up. No Feather Storm available here for Mystic. Does have his flash though and gets himself to the right side. But Noel turns up in the end, close to falling. It is almost a surprise that Black Cleaver's going to be his second item. As Shie, he just missed that. Oh, he did. And he is just going to get jumped on by everyone. He's like, why? I threw him a shot blast, should have found everything as teleport. He's actually gonna oh, come out as well. They're committing to this fight massively. Good monsoon to try and mix this one up as the hero hero's entrance comes in. Nocti is a massive body in the middle of this fight as Noel is going to fall down in the end. That first pick on Shie happens every single time, but it's still gonna be a relatively close battle. There's the feather storm, the oh, fight from it. Mystic wants to find more as Nocti's in trouble. Pallet, the first one to go down. Nocti gonna be the second as Mystic calls back the blades. And the twisted advance from 957 says, Venus, you ain't going anywhere. And this should just be another one for the AD carry of WE. Cool guys don't look at explosions and they lock it down. But there's a teleport from Noel. They want to stop this if they can. Well, we do have only one smite on the map for now. She ain't has set himself up. Koro does have to be very careful. Buster shot immediately used as the Baron's down very, very low. Condi just going to find that smite button. This will be absolutely fine. And WE lock it down. It's not about that, it's about getting the fight at the right stage as Pallet is going to go down damage. incredibly low. That shot class, Picaro finds himself Whoa, a dome. That's not what they want. Nor gets exploded. Mystic, all of that damage we were talking about is going to be out of secure it. And now an inhibitor turret in the mid lane will be falling down. 24 minutes into the game and the base is broken for Young Generation. The Baron falls first. WE keep moving forward. They've got a pick and they're looking to try and grab more. 28 seconds on Noel. The LeBlanc is dead. It looks like Team WE, they want to threaten the turret that is attacking the minions was teleported towards. Yeah, that's that seven is in. Big Koro comes back, so he's going to be able to at least get some damage onto Condi here, but the first Nexus turret, it's going to fall down. They're looking for the second Shock Blaster flying through, and they need to get out of the way. Pell is not shaky enough. Yeah, Nexus engaged. now exposed. Grand Entrance finds absolutely nothing. No Nexus damage just yet, but that's because WE want to be getting more of these kills. Noel turns back up. Blade Call is there from Mystic, though. The self peel from the Zarya is working out with an exposed Nexus. WE are going to back away. Team WE. Great time as well. Here they go. Grasp. Yeah, they're looking to try and break open another section of the base. Nocti stunned up. He's a tank, but he's just not that tanky against all the damage that WE have, and he's forced back to the fountain. An inhibitor is going to fall down, but you this may as well just head towards the Nexus. 26 minutes into this game. It's game number three. This is WE looking to secure their spot in the round of 16. They've been toted as the number one team in China, and honestly, right now, they look absolutely stunning. Shie grabs a kill. Venus is dead. Celebratory frags coming in for Team WE is the Nexus, the last to fall. Dominant victory from the Chinese home crowd team, WE. Did mean that this felt like WE had it in the bag.
but that man on your screen taking the front. Zero subbing in for game number three and honestly felt like WE, despite how clean game number one was, it was so much more control.